This is my dad, Larry Hader. Without him, his name, and the compassion he's taught me, this platform wouldn't be possible. For those of you that don't know Larry, he is a kind, gentle, and loving husband, father, and grandfather, but he also suffers from primary progressive aphasia, a form of dementia that affects his ability to communicate. Because of this, every day it becomes more difficult for him to talk. So dad, let us talk for you. Dear Dad, it is hard to put into words how we feel about a man that means the world to us. From the bottom of our hearts, we just want to say thank you. Growing up with a father that works at home is bittersweet. You may have got yelled at, but that always meant Dad was there. And there would be time for play, and play we did. From the countless encounters with the tickle monster, to the time our Yaya threatened to call Child Protective Services because you are swinging us around in pillowcases. It is those simple moments of laughter and free-spiritedness that have helped create the people we are today. Thank you for always being there when we needed you the most. Thank you for your influence, your support, and your presence in our lives. It may sound silly to some, but the hundreds of roller coaster rides that we shared together taught us all we needed to know about life. That it would be full of ups and downs, thrills and frights, screams and laughter. And you would be right there next to me through all of it. Thank you for teaching us the importance of laughter. And the power of making not only others laugh, but how to laugh at ourselves. You never let society's idea of what your child should be like get in the way of letting us be ourselves. Not once did you ever say anything to make us feel like our wants and interests were different. Not once. We can't emphasize enough the importance of this. Because of that, we're all much closer to living a happy life. Since the section of my brain that goes, what will others think, has shrunk to practical non-existence. I'm able to be me because you not only let me, you supported me. Thank you for looking past our faults and always seeing the best in us. Thank you for never giving up on us, even when we wanted to give up on ourselves. Kindness and understanding will be your most important legacy. And you should be proud to know that it is not limited to just your kin, but will reach to hundreds of other lives that you've made that much better just by having been in it. We want you to know that we promise to always look past your faults and see the best in you. To always remember who you really are. To help you with your fears, frustrations, and forgetfulness. To always forgive you when you say, or do something out of your control. To be patient and repeat myself as many times as you need. We promise to always be there for you. And we promise you will never go through this alone. Thank you, Dad, a million times over. Thank you for not only being our dad, but most importantly, thank you for being a friend. We love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> What has it meant to you to be a father? Well, I, the, the purpose in my life is to keep our families together and being, being a father is, is the most important thing in life. What did, what did you learn from your own father that you took with you into fatherhood? My, my dad taught me uh, to be rational uh, a and uh, and hard work and uh, and to play hard what is one what is one of your favorite memories of the kids one favorite memory uh, throwing the kids in the pool yeah yeah the the, the pool is Putting them was, in pillowcases and dragging them down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
What is the most important lesson you wanted to teach your children? I, I would like them to uh, make their own decisions and 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 uh, and if it doesn't work out in the first time, just do it again and 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 make it more uh, pop of them. Not pop of them. <laughs> just do it until it worked yeah, out. Yes, yeah. Better. Better. If you no. can do one thing differently with your children, what would it be? Nothing. Yeah. They all turned out good and and I'm proud of every single one of you. What would you what would you like to tell a, another father, either a new father or a seasoned father? Oh, uh, cherish the children and okay, live for, for today tomorrow. and not for today, tomorrow. What would you like to tell your children? Oh, well, I'm happy, definitely, and I'm proud of them. I love all of my children. I support your decisions. Be Same. proud of self and 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 um, and um, and be prosperous. And I love them all. For the haters, for the haters, come on to it now or later. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't matter what your name is, share your story, we'll be waiting. Oh, oh, oh.